This is a six inch number four steel rule, six inches long. It is a spring tempered steel rule. It is probably the most common rule found in a machine shop and likely will be found in the machinist's pocket. It has four scales on it, hence the number four. Every main division is one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and then six inch. On the first side, it is divided into eighths of an inch. So each smaller graduation is one eighth of an inch. Two eighths being a quarter, three eighths, four eighths or a half inch, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and one inch, and so on down the rule. If you notice, by the one inch mark, there is a little indentation that says eights. If we flip the rule around, we are now dealing with a six inch scale, but now the eights are subdivided into another division, making it sixteenths. One sixteenth, two sixteenths, which is an eighth, three sixteenths, and so on. If we flip the rule over, we now have 30 seconds of an inch. So we've now divided the sixteenths in half again, making it a 32nd of an inch. So each graduation on this side of the rule will be one 32nd of an inch, again, all the way up to six inches. And then the last side of the number four spring tempered steel rule is the 64th of an inch side. And again, we've split that 32nd of an inch in half again, giving us 64 evenly spaced graduations between the zero and the one inch. This rule is great for measuring fractional sizes in a machine shop or getting the rough dimensions of a piece of stock. It is very important that we make sure that the end of the rule is true. Often we will start the measurement from the one inch mark and come down to try and see what size the part underneath it lines up with. In this case, it doesn't quite line up with the eighth graduation or the sixteenth graduation. So what we need to do is flip the rule over in order to get the size. So if we line it up on the one inch mark down here and we measure down, we can see that it lines up with the thirty-second mark. So one, two, three, four inches and one, two, three, four, five thirty seconds of an inch. It's very important that we remember to subtract the one inch from the end. So in other words, we, it's not five inches plus. We also want to make sure that the rule is straight across the part so we don't get an error. Lastly, when we're checking the measurement, we want to make sure we look straight down at the number so we don't get an error in the reading. We do not want to look at an angle or we'll get an error in the graduation. We want to look straight down at the size. To check the outside of round stock, we can pivot the rule back and forth, holding it to the one edge and pivoting back and forth until we get the largest measurement. In this case, it would be one two inches and one sixteenth. So two and one sixteenth inch would be the outside of this piece of material. This rule has a limitation of six inches, either by eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, or sixty-fourth. Again, this is a six inch spring tempered steel rule, a number four spring tempered steel rule because of the four different scales on it. If we were working in the metric system, we would have to switch and get a metric spring-tempered steel rule.